In today's chess video, I am going to take an opening called legal chess trap which arises after white plays pawn to e4 and black replies with pawn to e5. Knight f3, developing a knight while attacking this pawn and pawn d6. The most common moves are knight to c6 but many players tend to choose this quiet line which arises after d6. Now we will play the move knight to c3 and after knight to c6 we will play the move bishop to c4. And the main move here in this position are g6 and bishop to e7. But many players feel that when their opponent has not pushed h3 they play bishop to g4. Now if you play a common developing move like pawn to d3 then after knight to d4 Black gets a very easy game because black will threaten to capture on f3 and he will ruin white's pawns. So we will play the move h3. We immediately kick this bishop and the main moves in this position is bishop to h5 which is played, which is played very often and bishop takes f3. I will cover bishop takes f3 first. After queen takes f3 Queen f6, queen d1, and after queen set castle, castles g5 and d3. This gives an advantage for white because white can play knight to d5 then and he will push his pawns with b4 and pawn a4. While this leads to a violent position for both black sides and white, white definitely has the advantage in this position. So, after h3, many black players play bishop to h5 and even a 2-6 grandmaster has fallen into this trap. So, now you know how much this opening trap contains. Now, we will play the move knight captures e5. And the best moves are knight captures e5 and d captures e5. But many players feel that White has given a free queen. Let's just capture on d1. Well, did you see the move after black captures on d1? It's actually made in two. Take some time for this position if you have not seen it. And feel good about yourself if you have found out a good move. Okay, the best move in this position is bishop captures f7. And after king to e7, knight to d5 and this is a checkmate because black cannot move to e6 the bishop is guarding black cannot go to f6 the knight is guarding on the f6 and black cannot even go to d7 because the e5 knight is covering that position so uh, if d captures e5 then black just loses a pawn queen captures h5 so the best way to continue forward is knight captures e5 and suddenly it seems that white has blundered. After queen captures h5 and knight captures e4, d3, knight e5, black is a piece up. Well, it's not. After knight captures c4, we will play the move. We will play the only move in the position and we will win this game. Okay, if you have seen this move, congratulations. The move is queen to b5 check. Checking the king and attacking the knight. So after pawn to c6 and queen captures c4, white is up a pawn and you will convert this into a winning position very easily. So if you like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. And I will visit you with more videos this week and I will be live streaming the event. Okay, guys, friends. Bye.